Well, we got some breaking news out of the city of Detroit, and that is that the Detroit Lions have done some roster moves, and I'm sure one of these is a bit of a surprise, and the other one you guys are going to be excited about, and this is coming from Ian Rappaport just five minutes ago, says the Lions have waived kicker Riley Patterson and activated QB Hendon Hooker from reserve NFI. Now, you guys remember Hendon was hurt in college last year. It's been over a year since his injury, and he was on the same list that Jamison Williams was on last year. Now, his activation is coming quite a little bit of ways after J-Mo. I think J-Mo was elevated week 12, so we're looking at week 16 for Hendon Hooker. Now, this is big news. This is big news because Dan Campbell said yesterday that they were going to try to get him to the roster, and the corresponding move is, I guess, waving Riley Patterson. But I counted the roster yesterday, and we had 51 players on the roster, on the active roster. So I'm not sure if this move is to correlate with that or we got another move coming. Now, don't forget that C.J. Gardner-Johnson, his clock is supposed to start. I'm expecting it we're, us to hear about it tomorrow, and that means that eventually they're going to have to make room for him. Now, what does this mean for Riley Patterson? It means that he will go through waivers. If he is not claimed, then he can come back to the Detroit Lions practice squad. I'm not sure what happened. We, The Detroit Lions and Riley Patterson, their relationship is very weird. Uh, we cut him, then we went with Batchley. He spent last year with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Then we wind up trading for him in the offseason, cutting Batchley, right? We cut Batchley. Batchley is on another team. He gets cut by that team. We then sign him to our practice squad. And then last week, he comes out and just unexpectedly takes the job from Riley Patterson. And so we're we're literally in the exact same place we were this time last year. Very, very weird, a weird situation. Now, I I do expect if he has not claimed Riley, that is, he will come back to the Detroit Lions practice squad. Now, with Hendon, it's a little, it's a little different. It's a little different with Hendon Hooker. According to the NFL, you can have three quarterbacks dressed, but only two, only two can play, not including the emergency quarterback. So a good example yesterday is the Seattle Seahawks had Drew Locke as the starter. Geno Smith was dressed, but he fully wasn't going to go. And then they had an, an emergency quarterback that they had signed as well. So I did look at the NFL rules and you can only have, you can only have two quarterbacks on the active roster, but then you've got the emergency quarterback who doesn't count toward the active roster. Kind of a weird situation. Remember, during the offseason, the Lions actually uh, put this rule into up uh, for a vote, and it was voted in because of what happened to the San Francisco 49ers uh, last year in that it was the uh, NFC Championship game, I believe it was, that uh, eventually let the Philadelphia Eagles just walk into the Super Bowl. So I think that it's kind of curious as to what's going to happen. Now, remember, this guy couldn't even practice with the team. He he couldn't be coached, according to Dan Campbell, before his uh, he was he came off that his three week window open. So this is very intriguing. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Now, the thing that's that, that's kind of intriguing for me, and I know this is kind of coming from left field, but if there's no place other than emergency quarterback for Hendon Hooker. Could it be possible that Teddy retires early? And I don't know. That means that Hendon could take his spot. But what kind of, I mean, they would have to really believe that Hendon Hooker is ready to be a number two with almost zero practice. This, this, So no NFL experience. I'm not sure how this is, is going to work. I'm assuming that Hendon Hooker will be the emergency quarterback that because that's the only sense that that makes don't forget we have David Blau but he's never been dressed this season he's remained on the practice squad the entire season so very weird practice squad quarterbacks are weird man because he, he was actually playing for the uh Arizona Cardinals and he was on another team as well the Minnesota Vikings remember to start the season if I'm not mistaken or that might have been last year that he didn't sign with the, that was last year when he lost the game in preseason. Then he wound up coming back to Detroit. So I fully expect one way or another that Riley Patterson will end up back in the city of Detroit. But just wanted to get you that breaking news coming from the Detroit Lions that Hendon Hooker was activated from the 
reserve NFI list, and Riley Patterson has been waived. So it's going to be an interesting couple of days. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.